Hi folks, this is Buck. Thanks for tuning in. What I'd like to do today is tell you about an intermittent problem I was having with my Rad Rover 6 Plus. There would be days where it would be running just fine, as normal, and the next day I would come out to go for a ride and it would not work, no matter what I did. And then it wouldn't work, and then it would work. It was on again, off again, but very inconsistent, and I couldn't put my finger on it. So give me a minute to grab the camera, and I'll show you what I went through. So here was the problem. I would come out to the bike, turn it on, wanting to go for a ride. And everything would seem fine. I'd turn the throttle, and the bike would move forward just like it, it's, it's supposed to do. But then there were other days when I came out, turned the bike on like I just did, and nothing would happen at the throttle. Or I would try to go into walk mode. The indicators were, would come on to indicate that you could walk the bike, but nothing would happen. It's not moved. I shut it off. Did all the usual stuff that you would do. You jiggle the cables, you look around, you make sure that everything is intact. You check this, you check that. Everything is looking good. You might even, and I did this several times, pop the battery out. Make sure that everything down here is okay. No corrosion, no water. Slam the battery home. Turn the bike on. And there'd be nothing. It wouldn't go anywhere. Checking a little further, it would come down and look at all the wires down here. Make sure at making sure everything was intact, everything in this distribution block was fine, all these connectors, everything was unplugged and plugged back in. Nothing seemed to make a difference. You know, you even resort to kicking the bike, swearing at it, nothing would work. Twist that throttle, and disappointingly, nothing. Turn the bike off, leave frustrated. Come back the next day and it's working again. So I detailed or documented everything that I did and I just told you about and I sent it out to Rad Power in a long email. They wrote back and said, oh, Pop, you need a new controller. <laughs> okay. So after a bit of bartering, I bought the controller. So Rad Rover sent this. This is the controller. Where it goes is, if <laughs> you look around, okay, I give up. But where it goes is right down here. It sits inside this down tube, right at about this level. There's only two pins inside this connection, so that obviously goes to the power. There's a thick and a thin wiring harness. The thin one comes up over here into this distribution block. The thicker one is this very same one that goes to the motor. So I'm going to attempt to put this in. I'm not going to bar bother you with me bending wrenches and twisting screwdrivers and that. There's enough of that on YouTube. But Rad Power has a very nice video on how to install this in a couple different models of bike. So I would advise you to look at that if you're having a problem with the controller. <laughs> I, what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description to that video. It's about six minutes long and it's actually quite good. So um, I'll put this in. I'll come back to you when I'm done and let you know how I made out. So after about 15 minutes, no more than that, I took out the old controller. Let's compare it to the new one for contrast. This is the new one I just received from Brad Power. You can see that it's quite a bit bigger. Its composition is totally different. On the original, all three cables come out of the top. The two that go to 
the motor and the wiring harness go downward. This one goes upward toward the battery. On the new one, you have one going up to the battery. And I'm sure you've all seen that. So that's what you snap your battery into. And these go straight down rather than coming this way. They go straight down to the distribution block and the motor. But because this is so big and actually higher up in that down tube, it's very difficult to get all of this crammed in so that this battery connection is all inside the down tube and oriented properly. This is a very tight fit, very hard to do, and it's quite a struggle. I would never, <laughs> had I designed this, have this much crimping going on in a wiring harness. But this is so long, it was fine on this one. It fit because there was room and it was down farther. But on this one, it this actually has to fit at almost of a diagonal up inside the down tube. And it's very hard to push this all together. But with enough work, you can get it done. So I'll put it in and I'll report back on how we make up. I just returned from a short seven mile ride. I didn't want to go too far in case this thing went brain dead again and I had to pedal back all that way. Most I had to pedal back if that did happen was maybe three miles. So I wanted to test a number of things. I wanted to test all the different power assist level levels, light on, light off, bike on, bike off. I did a long downhill straight to do full throttle all the way up to the max. Tested pretty much everything I could that involved either the electronics or the electrical connection from the battery and everything seemed fine. Of course, time will tell. It could be totally different tomorrow. That was the symptom of the old controller, the original one, is that sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. Sometimes it worked for days and sometimes it didn't work for two days. It was on again, off again. Very hard to diagnose. But I put the controller in, like to say that it is a doable job if you're comfortable with tools and you don't mind looking at the video on Rad Power site, which again is pretty decent, this is a doable job. It took me just under an hour to do without, in compressed time, without the videoing and me talking and all like that. So less than an hour you can get this job done. Uh, you need very basic tools, you know, uh, uh, screwdrivers, your Allen wrenches that come with the bike, you're pretty much good to go. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe and like if you want. I would certainly appreciate it. Take care. Be safe out there. Thanks.